My Little Pony, The Bell of the Ball. The ponies were excited about the best friend's ball. Twinkle Twirl was busy at the dance studio. Sweetberry was busy baking a cake. At the castle, the ponies worked hard. They blew up balloons. They tied the balloons with shiny ribbons. Sky Wishes left the castle. She stopped to visit Twinkle Twirl. Do you want to fly a kite with me? asked Sky Wishes. I can't now, said Twinkle Twirl. I am teaching the ponies a new dance. I will leave the kite here. Twinkle Twirl might play with it later, said Sky Wishes. Inside, Twinkle Twirl looked at the clock. It is time to get ready, ponies, she said. May I wear your crown? asked Desert Rose. Do you have a necklace for me? asked Applejack. Will you brush my hair? asked Starbeam. Of course, said Twinkle Twirl. I love to help my friends. It was time for Twinkle Twirl to get ready. She had no crown. She had no necklace. She had no one to brush her hair. How could she go to the ball? Twinkle Twirl looked up at the stars. Sky Wishes' kite was flying in the wind. A wishing star, she said. I wish I had a crown and a necklace. Then I could go to the ball. Your wishes will come true, said a pretty pony. Butterflies were all around her. My name is Starcatcher. Wow, said Twinkle Twirl. You are a real Pegasus pony. Starcatcher and her magic butterflies placed a crown on Twinkle Twirl's head. They gave her a new necklace. Twinkle Twirl was ready for the ball. Twinkle Twirl went to the castle. The ponies were happy to see her. Thank you for being kind and helpful. You are the best friend ever, they cheered. She got a special prize. Twinkle Twirl was the star of the ball, but the best part of all was being with good friends. Best friends forever. If you like this book, give it a thumbs up. And let me know of any other books you'd like me to read in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.